Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So, it's going to show you another build I'm doing, which I'm playing around with. Um, so, I finished um, the uh, Roman 71 in the 5B, which you can see to the right. And now I'm building up uh, another 5B with the extended arms of a 5T Max. As you can see, there is a big difference in that. It's huge. Okay, so, yeah, but anyway, um, let's show you some more what I've done. <coughs> Let me see. Alright, guys, if you've never seen a 5T Max, um, this is where. You uh, they come with ex uh, huge, long extension arms. Okay, you see how big they are. They're about twice, they are twice the size of normal barger, 5B, 5T, or whatever. Anyway, I just basically put it together as a mock up. Um, that's my last video I was showing about a Robin 71cc motor, brand new. I actually pulled the part before I fired up and you saw what was inside so the hobby dealer um, seen the video um, they replaced the new similar head kit uh, for good so anyway I'll put that motor back together uh, before I did that I actually done some work on the cylinder okay I basically fixed up the uh, exhaust uh, just by Robin tends to, um, yeah, yeah, machine in the wrong area. But anyway, all fixed up. A bit more port timing on the inlet sides. A uh, fraction more on the exhaust. A bit higher on the roof and that. But apart from that, it's all stock standard. All right. So we're basically going to beginning like I. My first videos running a stock motor with a modified cylinder, uh, nothing too fancy. Anyway, uh, yeah. You know, anyway, guys, so uh, I, I did find the binding issue on the motor when it was new. It's actually a clutch holder, okay, clutch shoe holder. They, I had to take a, about a mil and a half off. That's what was dragging on the seal. I didn't want to put the seal any further in. It was fine where it is, so basically I took off the uh, clutch uh, shoe holder. I've done that a couple of times that I found. Uh, yeah, it's very tight in there, and you don't want your uh, seal rubbing up against the bearing, and you don't want your clutch shoe holder rub up against the uh, seal. All right, so anyway, we're just going to go over putting the 5T Max arms on. Um, obviously on the 5T Max they run the other type of steering. Basically I've got to change it over. I've got the kit here to change it all over. Um, all good. Now the only thing I sort of, there's a lot of things you actually find, but there's a lot of slop uh, in the turn buckle. Alright, so, well, I'm going to be fixing it, apart from changing the whole steering system to the other setup, is uh, go out and buy the rose joints, uh, six mil, uh, we've, that's what I had on before, um, okay, uh, here it is, so you go buy the rose joints, uh, male and female, and you take the insert out of these turn buckles they come as a kit all right that'll fix your problem and now slot there the other issue what you find is uh, um, top arm where it goes uh, joins up to you um, uh, your main hub area there you're gonna have to do a bit of massage on the inside here underneath that Okay, that goes for um, right. Other uh, issue, what I found, it's normal. Uh, 
the ball inside the lower control arm here. There's a lot of slop. That's no good. Uh, I have to get that slop out of it. There is one way you can do it, uh, especially with your rubbing arms. They tend to be, I uh, wish I was even on the plastic. I tend to have the original HPI, which they are uh, the right size, which are a little bit bigger than Diamond and Rover. They will take up slack. And I just hope that they haven't locked tight those screws in. They're locked tight and you won't get those screws out. They'll just snap off the head. I've been that many a time. Anyway, um, going to the rear, they, the dog bones they actually give you. Um, right, man. Oh, I know where it is. Right. Uh, now, I'm quite amazed actually. They give you a big shower. 9mm. Right. Uh, they give you the small ball set up with the small pins. Okay, uh, obviously I'm on the 71cc motor room, but I'm uh, bit, uh, bit more, uh, heaps of torque, massive torque. Right, this is what these motors are good for. And basically I'm building up to set the torque. Okay, <coughs> so what I've done, I'll, as you see, the uh, the uh, dog bone shaft I've got in there. I actually modified this one. It's actually got the SC big, bigger ball with the bigger pin. So I did uh, two mil shorter than the, um, the stock one that actually comes with those swing arms. But realistic, I need to go because I only done the one um, is to. Uh, should have by three to four mil. Okay. Uh, yeah. Unless I put, most like I'm going to be putting a limit strap on this. Um, yeah, it's just, just binding up there. Um, there's standard outboard cups, but they're, they're actually, the machine more back for row. Right. Yeah, but I can fix that problem. Um, let's see how we go. But anyway. Problem is, it's going to come out of the shaft. So I made my own, I joined it up in two places. Basically, because they've been heat treated before, these are actually a sleeve I made up 9mm inside diamond and, and the outside diamond. Diamond is this. Split them, made enough room. So when I did one half, I actually well joined the two shafts inside. Right, just cleaned up a bit, put the other piece on, the other piece of the sleeve on. And I'd welded up the guts. Right, so right, it's welded along here, here, and in the middle, and not on the end. Okay, because you already weaken it. Right, so to get more camera out of these wheels, yeah, um, I guess it's a uh, bone uh, problem, which is um, basically. Um, Take four mils out of that shaft and that'd be the right length of what I want. Um, apart from that, um, let's see. Yeah, so I've got my 48, uh, 26 or 28 uh, pinion gear. Okay, so I'm not going to have any budget in that area. It's all good. The pipe I'm actually running, I'm making up a new pipe, same as the one on the other one. Sorry, but she's going to be about uh, another, another five mils longer, five centimeters longer. That's going to change, so it's going to have more length in the chamber. And going to see how that goes. Um, yeah, all good. So anyway, guys, this is some of the tips. If you tend to put these arms on, um, obviously you've got to get shims. Um, yeah, the, the washers I've got a two fix, so I've got to get a shim tip just to shim up. It's basically just a mock up um, to um, see what, uh, which way to go. Uh, everything's fine. Um, yeah, I just have to change the steering system. Um, yeah, that will bring the wheels straight. I plan to put the um, the red wheels. That was on the uh, five, the other five B here, so I could put the um, BRP um, spike wheels on. 
that's basically you know so I've got full traction of that but run these uh, big six and a half inch on these long control arms it'll, um, yeah, it'll more suit the stance of it um, yes yeah, just you know just yeah as it is it's so small in those arms need a bigger die in the room oh go guys um yeah that's it Just let you know any questions go ahead but um you're just gonna see the bill has uh the bill on this how i go and then what i'm doing uh when the new pipes finish okay um yeah so i'm out see you next time